James Lee, and I'm the owner of the Hamilton House. About three years ago, I had a restaurant partnership, and the partnership part was fizzling out. I was looking for a place to open a restaurant on my own, and this was a block down the street. I used to sit in the parking lot and stare and watch it, and it felt like it was calling me and I needed to be here. You say it called to you. It had been for sale for four years, and I had driven by many times wondering what it was like on the inside and if I could really pull it off. I knew that it had been extensively decorated and a lot of renovation, and it was move-in ready, kind of a turnkey. There were not any places, so by process of elimination, it was calling me, but it also felt like home. The house had had a reputation of, of being haunted. Before you, when you heard the stories of the hauntings or what have you, were you a skeptic? Then? Yes. Yes. What about now, after owning no. it? So you're no longer a skeptic? Not at you, all. You I think it was a Monday morning. I know it was 9.24 a.m., and I was awakened by noises in a kitchen that someone would make while they were preparing a meal. Uh, pots and pans were banging and spoons and boxes were being scooted across the floor and it was a loud enough noise to wake me up. When I got up, I, there's a second floor kitchen and I live on the third floor so I walked down the first set of stairs. It's quiet, there's nobody here. And uh, my thought that an employee might have come in early was not true. Uh, nobody had a key. There was no way anybody could have gotten in here. The uh, next thing I did was look in the downstairs, the main kitchen where we prepare food for the restaurant, and looked all around and there was nothing. It was quiet. Now granted, these noises had gone on for 20 or 30 minutes. Next thing was I started to ask, like you see on television, tell me your name or give me a sign of your name. and. And I, I distinctly got Will uh, within a week or two. I even more clearly received, I prefer William. And it was a man's voice. Similarity of the medium's stories and the things that they come up with are not something that they could find by reading. It feels like home. And you can tell by the way the customers sit around. They'll sit here for two or three hours sometimes and not move and just want to drink and talk and eat and you know they may not be drinking alcohol even they just they're sitting here enjoying the time with their friends and family those interested in a paranormal experience please come i'm Cassidy ray i'm 16 and i'm a medium so i can see hear feel and communicate with spirits Walking through the house, um, I started being drawn towards the parlor in the front area to the left. They call it the lounge room. Um, there was a man that walked and he stood in front of the doorway and just sat, walked, looked around and then left. Um, there's been a little girl following us around. She caught my attention on the stairs. She kept peeking out. Uh, the, there's a big mirror in the hallway in front of the stairs and I kept getting a, that's, if you take pictures, that there's, she's been in pictures before on the stairs. Um, and then I actually stopped at the spot. It felt really heavy at the spot where I saw her standing at in a picture. Um, there was a lot of men, especially upstairs and in the basement. And some of them were more abrasive than others. In the basement, there was a man. Mm -hmm. And a lot of this was help from the little girl. She related most of it to me before I got down there. He was very sad and walking, you know, even as soon as the basement door opens, you can feel it, it kind of just hits you, it's really sad and heavy. Besides the woman on the stairs, there was a woman on the back servant stairs. Uh, she was colored, but she was you know, kind of lighter, so I didn't really think she would have been a slave. Um, but I first saw her, she was bouncing in all the rooms downstairs, and I went to go up the servant stairs just to kind of look, and she told me I wasn't allowed up there. Like, you're not a servant, you can't go up there. This was my first time here today. A doll? Yes, she, she wants, wants a doll. doll. What kind of doll? She said, I didn't know there were multiple dolls. 
but this place is a much different feel than it does during the day, I have to say. Way different. Yeah. I just got a really big pressure on my head. Mm -hmm. Who's here with us right now? Megan. Who just said Nikki? Can you tell me your name, whoever said my name, please? Who's here with us? Please tell us your name. William, what's your last name? Whose bicycle was in here? It says something out of the way. Did I share it out again? I don't like that either. I think that's it's not, it's not pleasant. No. They don't like that. Get out of here. Who hurt the little girl? They don't like this. No, they don't like that. Like at all. If you tell me your name, I'll turn turn this off. You saying they don't like it? Yeah, they really don't like it. Stop. Stomach. Yeah, because my stomach. I thought like, I heard stomach. Are you hurting hurt? Cassie's stomach because you don't like this? Yeah. 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 All right. We're okay, turning off. We will not use that and we're sorry, we apologize. Really I swear it just said Cassidy, but we're going to keep so, that off. I'm going to try the echo locks in. Okay. You, you okay? Real quick. Yeah. Did please you catch do. something? Well, the bicycle. I thought yeah, you just said right there, right by the computer. You alright? Yeah. Because yeah. he said, Who's me? And you'll hear bicycle. Is there anything we can do to make you all calmer? As soon as you turn it off, I breathed easier. Okay. I'm just... That last question about the little girl, I really, I don't know. They, he got really mad when you asked that question. I wonder why. I don't think it happened because I heard it didn't happen. He got really upset. And, right. Something that you called a while ago that we come out with. It says stomach hurts. There's a the hurts at the end of that. I've had my hurt stomach. <laughs> Just like a really... None of us were moving no. like enough to do that. No. So 
We all felt it. And everyone who is here, present in the house, is in this room right in front of you right now. There's Although, us. I don't know if you can see. You probably can't there's see. There's his hand. Oh, um, so, you know, there's, there's no one else who we have here. There's no one else breathing. There you right. go. You don't like this? It gives him too much. Too much what? Okay, tell me your. It, do, it doesn't like me, whatever it is. It hasn't liked me for a minute. It really gives me a weird vibe. Right, and it does. It feels, you know, I can't it's say it enough. It's very different in here. Yeah, it's over top of my voice. Yeah, yeah. It says, um, stop it. It's really different. It's at the, it was right it as does. I was asking, do you like this? Yeah, yeah. And it says, stop it. If you two are comfortable and want to do this, I cast me and I guess that. Um, outside. Outside or something. I'm cool with it. Give her a little break because yeah. I know. Can we have some reports? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. We'll take that a break. Way Seriously. I sure go away there. Yeah, that was. 
was that was out there. Alright, we heard some crazy stuff there, just gonna try to confirm it. <coughs> What the hell? It's like some kind of evil demonic laugh or something. God, that's too much. Did you hear it again? That's wicked. Okay, I know you said you didn't like this, but this is an easy way for us to communicate with you, okay? And it gives you a lot of energy. We're only going to do it for a few more minutes, and then I'll turn it off, I promise. Okay, use that white noise. And who just did that evil, crazy sounding laugh? Sarah, are you still here? Yeah. Are you over on this side of me, yes or no? Or are you on this side of me? Yes, over here. Yeah. yeah. What am I doing with my hand right now? If you can see me. Where's my hand? How many fingers am I holding up? Okay. Sound like a little girl sound. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. 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 Yeah, Is there, a, is there someone here named Katie? Who has the bicycle? I do. That was clear. Well, who's I? Tell us your name. Where's the bicycle at? Did you say in the basement? Who wants to go down in the poker room and play some poker with me? Just the poker room. Stop it, I So you want to play some poker, huh? I said pretty please. Pretty please, yep. I wish I had nothing on record. You said he wants to go play in poker in the poker room, and you hear it say poker room completely clear. Who wants to go down in the poker room and play some poker with me? <laughs> That's awesome. Are there any women of the night? Is there women of the night still here with us? Okay. 
How many how many women of the night are here with us right now? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it said you want Kate. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I want to go play some poker, give you guys a chance to take some of my money, since you don't like me. Would that be alright? Who is Katie? Me. You'll see. I said you'll see. Okay, well I want to see. How much is the buy-in for poker? Katie. Or it might be a number there. That's a 50. What's your favorite night to play poker on? Something night. Are there any drugs in the basement? Is there any vinegar in here? On this, I'm gonna shut this thing off because I know some of you don't like it. William, are you here? You guys want Nikki to be a lady of the night? All right, show me something. Move this chandelier. Please, thank you. Ah! Well, I'm ah! done. I'm done. It did it, by God. That battery, look at this, guys. The battery blew up. Okay, check this out, guys. We were sitting there. I said, show us something, move the chandelier, and a freaking battery blew up in my monitor. That's never, I've never had a battery blow up. A double A, please. Are you kidding me? Guys, our hands are kind of tied up here because we got a bunch of airflow coming down. But we're trying to hopefully get some visual stuff. Are you scared because we're in your space?
all your energy to blow that battery up and now you don't want to come up here and hang out with us? you like I did downstairs. Show us something by knocking the army man down and setting off the rim pod if you're still up here. Or the cowboy guy, whatever it is. Make a loud boo, stomp, yell, scream, something. Otherwise we're gonna pack her up and go down to the basement. We're going to do an echo box, see if we can get any intelligent responses to some of our questions. And uh, Otherwise, guys, this is your chance to talk with us now. After this one, we're going to move. If, you're, if you stay up in this area, now's your chance to speak with us if you, if you want. you got to be kidding me, dude. I just changed my camera, or my phone battery out. Brand new, charged, fully charged battery. It is down, you saw it's down in nothing. Here, where you tell me what they told you to do to do with me tonight. Tell me my first and last name, please. Oh my god. That's what she just sent me. 
I went into the questions uh, asking about the spirit that we think may have hurt the little girl. And Cassie is all the way two floors below us. And she sent him a text saying, stop with those type of questions. <laughs> so she knows what we're doing. We're trying to be sneaky, kind of sneaky and not, you know. And she, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trick her. I'm going to send her a message and say, what are you talking about? And see what she responds back to it. So her response back to me is the questions about what he did to the little girl. <laughs> and that was the one ask her first. Can, I just ask her if you can hear so we can verify that. Dave wants to know if you can hear him two floors above you or how you got that information. And kind of a heads up on how things work like that. Morrison Lodge in Elizabethtown, Kentucky. Uh, two years ago, we investigated, and Cash is on the first floor, and another friend of our group was on the second floor, and the girl on the second floor started getting pushed by a man, which, you know, there's a thing about girls being in the Sonic Lodge. She was starting to get pushed out the door upstairs, and Cassie completely stopped what she was doing on the first floor and, and used the walkie-talkie to call up to Sam and said, hey, are you all right? You know, what, what's this guy doing to you upstairs? And you're a floor apart, so. That's pretty amazing, you know what I mean, for her to know what we're talking about. And there's no way she hears with this noise and everything. There's just no way. Okay, so I'm going to leave that line of questioning alone. <laughs> I'm here to play poker. Down here to play poker with you. Where's your money? Come on, we're ready to buy in. Where's the ladies of the night? I need some company. Come on now. I'm, I'm not a patient man. Are there no ladies of the night down here for us? You got your money ready? You got your chips? I want to buy in. dollars earlier. You got plenty of money to spend. Are you scared? You scared we're going to take your money? Who's down here with us right now? Are there any females down here, yes or no? It's a man that travels back and forth from the hospital down here. Let's play a little hide and seek game, Charlie. We're in this room. Just walk around out in the hallway and scoop something around and let us know you're out there. We'll try to come find you. Don't be scared of us. We're not here to hurt you or anything. We just want to talk. Leave. As soon as I turn it on, I say leave. Alright, we're going to play a game, the same game with this. We'll give you a little bit of extra energy to use. Okay? Is that okay with you? No. Why not? Alright, I'm 
I'm gonna do it, okay? We're gonna do it a couple times and we'll leave you alone for the night. All right? Here we go. Play the number game first. When I count the numbers, you give me the next one after I stop. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Tell me next number. Is that you? There again. Okay. It could be a bug, but I don't see one no, flying. There's no fucking bugs. I'm telling you. Another one. Another one. My back right now. They might. Uh... I had heard screaming. Lily, make that. Whoever's doing that, make that lock go like you did the first time. You like that little toy? I mean, it's not stopping. Uh, but no, you don't understand how I feel right now. I told you. You weren't even nowhere near that. You were over there. I was, I was in the other room, Dave. I walked back in. I went in there to get this stuff. I had heard screaming. But I'm telling you, right now, I feel like my back... It's still going. Look at it. It's not slowing down. No, and we're not moving. No one in this room is moving. We were, guys, we were packing up, and Nikki was in the other room. She came in and said, oh, my God, look at that. And the lock on the thing is just, like, going like somebody's playing with it right now in front of us. Like a clock ticking. Now the cam my camera just blurred out. My back, I'm telling you, Dave, my back. And she had said right before that she heard it sounded like a child screaming. I did, but my, my back, oh, my God. <sighs> what do you mean? Like cold Somebody's chills? Somebody's running their fingers down my back. Stop t touching Nikki. Please stop. Stop touching her. You're not allowed to touch her. Do you not want us to go? Is stop. that what the problem is? Please Look at that thing. Is still fucking... Please stop touching me. Stand over there and see if you can feel a breeze coming out of a vent anywhere. There's no way it can move a lock that heavy, though. There's no air movement. I turned the air off. There's air running out there, but this two rooms, there's no air moving at all. There's no vents for it to move. There's one in the floor. There's no air coming out. I can promise you that. Another light, anom another light anomaly God. coming from the van toward me. My hair. Just fucked with my hair again. Okay, you all screwed with Dave earlier. Now it seems to be my turn. And I'm not liking it. Please stop. Come over here in the light. Let me see. Make sure you ain't got no marks. I don't. It doesn't hurt. It's just, just like tickling or like, something. Yes, and it's like move your hair over. No, no marks. What? It's still going. Look at it. I mean, that's insane. Great. Now I have the haunted mystery machine. Millimeter, maybe? Battery? Spirit box? I have never. Yeah, it's it's a computer? No, it's probably my spirit box. No, that never. 
never did that. Well, what would have, there's nothing, nothing moving. There's a spare box. Yeah, I know, but something could have turned it on. It's happened I'm before. We're sorry we have to go. I'm sorry. I, you know what? I will make a suggestion to get you a doll. We'll send, we'll send Jim the money, and he can go pick you up a, a doll up. baby that has the eyes that open and close. Is that what you like? That's what I played with last night. Would you like one of those? Look at that lock. I'm, I'm telling you, in my back, it's like... I'm very uncomfortable, like...